I had a, um, I actually prepared the drasha. You know, this is one of those times when uh, it's just not Nagaya, so I'm going to drop the drasha. Sometimes you're in a very magical moment, and being here this Shabbos has been magical. My wife and I answered Avi's call to come because we saw an opportunity to help. To Mechazek Yidin. We have a little expertise because we've been through a lot. But I really thought I came to be Mechazek and I came and I got Chizek from you. <laughs> I don't mean that lightly, I mean that completely honestly and sincerely, that uh, I didn't know what to expect, I had no clue what I was walking into, but I got tremendous, tremendous chizuk. My wife and I have been talking about it this Shabbos, from these, you, the warriors in the trenches, extraordinary, every one of you, extraordinary, extraordinary people. You're doing God's work in a way that's so half -ludic. And I'm telling you, I have a, a deep debt of Akar Satayv to everyone here, especially to Avi for asking me to come. But to all of you, and I want to be masbiz on what that means. When we went through this parsha ourselves, as I've mentioned a few times over Shabbos, there were moments of feeling very, very lost, very lost on this journey. I told you I was considering changing professions. I felt false, I felt like a hypocrite. Slowly but surely, I began to see the picture and I realized what was missing in me. You know, we all live this wonderful life of Torah mitzvahs. We daven, dress the right way, do chesed, we learn, we do everything. But I was thinking of the marshal that we heard this magnificent marshal today of the two people digging the holes and they forgot to put the tree in. The third guy didn't turn up. We look at Klalisol, we look at what's missing. We look at what our children see. And they see the guy is not planting the tree. There's something missing here. But most of all, I think for us, we have to realize in our own lives that what a Kodesh Baruch Hu is giving us is a gift. He's giving us a gift. A gift of authenticity. He's giving us a gift to get real. Real with our lives, with our Vedas Hashem, to become honest with ourselves. There was a moment in my journey when I saw what was missing. You know, we learn Chazal, we love Chazals, we love Drushas, you know, we love inspirational lines, but do we really live them? Do we internalize them? Or do we just, you know, we say I'm over. The Gemara, the Gemara Nida, Tesayin on my base. Amalach hamamuna al ha'irayin layla shmoi. Is Amalach in charge of pregnancy? His name is Layla. Noitel tipa umamida lifnei amokam. 
takes a drop of embryonic fluid and he places it before the Rabbeinu Shalolam. What's going to be with this tipa? What's going to be with it? Chacham or tipish, smart or not so smart, stupid. Gibba or chalosh, mighty, strong or weak. Asher or ani, wealthy or poor. The ilu tzadik v'rasha loy taima is not going to say ki a kol v'day shemayim chutz mi yershma. We all know this gemara, but do we know what Rashi says? I think these three things, Chacham or Tipish, these are the three worlds we live in. The intellectual world is Chacham and Tipish. Asha'on is the environment. Gibbo Cholosh is our physical world. These are the worlds we live our lives in. And I call B'day Shemaim, it's all B'day Shemaim. What is I call B'day Shemaim? Zad Rashi, I call B'day Shemaim, call Midoisov, all our midas, characteristics, personality, and the events that occur to us in the course of our life is a call b'gzeris melech. Our kids grow up. You know, we expect when they're born, you know, we all have these idiotic fantasies about what we actually think we got. Look around, wake up. And the Shoma comes back for what reason? For Tikkun the Shoma. Now it would be convenient if when it's born on its toe, it has a little tag announcing exactly what the problem is. ADD, lazy, Impulse disordered, ODD, self-centered. But I mean, it doesn't happen like that. Abba Rashi Zod, call me Doisov, the Kharais of Shalad, and boy, and Begzeris Melech. How busy we are blaming this neighbor and that Rebbe and this friend who's the bad influence, and, and if she hadn't gone there and he hadn't seen this. This is not Mishpacha magazine. This is Rashi. Call me Daisa the Karaisa Shal Adam Boyn Lab Xerus Melech. Al says Minashamayim. And I, I tell you what I realized in my development and my Avaida that I was on the Mishpacha magazine level. I didn't take it seriously. I was like everyone else. It's this one's fault and that one's fault and this problem and yet a problem. And one day, Rabbi Sai, it occurred to me is a kol shemayim is meant midoisov the kereisov. The Ebshta knows exactly what he's doing, and this is my gift. This is my gift. This is meant for me. This is the hardest thing to come to terms with. Abudos is the emis lamitasa. That this is my gift. Pasuk says in Kitsaitse, Kyivde bayis chodosh, vasise make al gagecha. You build a new house, you have to put a make around the room. Loisia domim besecha, pen yipala noifal mimem. Lest. The noifel, someone falls off the roof and he dies. Zog Rebbeinu Bechai brings a medrash. Medrash says, fascinating. What do you mean, pen yipol ha noifel mimenu? Pen yipol mimenu, lest someone falls on the roof, falls off. What's pen yipol ha noifel, lest the faller falls off the roof? What's meant? It's a waste of a word. Zog the Medrash, Roy Haya Lipo Mishashis Yeme Habreshis. From Shashis Yeme Habreshis, as Gavain a Neufel, and he's going off someone's roof. Shouldn't be your roof. Go build a Maka. 
It's not allowed to be your roof. And Rabbeinu Bechaya is Mazbin, the second Pshat Al Pi Midrash, or this, this Medrash, and explains that everything that happens to us in this world is Gzeris Melech. It's from Sheshis Yemei Habreshis. It's my destiny. It's part of my life. It's my journey. Yehudai ba'olamai. It's what I'm meant to go through. Everything. All of us. Let it not be my roof. Oh, but yet a knife was going off someone's roof. I found a similar medrash in the Tzemech Hashem Litzvi that Advona brings down. I found in the Yaakov Metzius Library in Lakewood. I had a photocopy of it one time. Whereas Mavai, the same thing, he says an amazing Lushan. Amazing, amazing Lushan. Where he says, Kaidem be also la before a person comes back to this world, he meets with a Bezdin Shalmaila, and Vadai, his Lushan, the Alma Dukshait in the world of truth, Vadai, Bachar, Ach, Hatoiv, Laatzmai. It's like he walks down this massive, this Walmart, this great store, and the Eulam Emes with his cart, with the Malachim, climbing off all the shelves, what he needs for his tikkun in this world. And that I bacher ach hatoiv la'atzma. You cannot be an almud kshait that you don't choose exactly what you need. And it includes... All our children, I got news for you. All the struggles, all the nisyanis, all the problems. And we put it all in our cart. We that I chose exactly this destiny for ourselves. What happens to us is all destiny. It's from the Rabbi Shalalam. And it's exactly what we need for our tikkun. And I credit my children with waking me up to this reality. Because prior to these parshas, it was just raid. It was just taira. It was informa- information. It was academia. Oh, but you don't get a chance to live it till you're here. You can't tingle with the struggle and pleasure and his gabarus of this till you're here. The kaychus this brings out of every single one of us is unimaginable. Who we would have been without this struggle and who we are because of it. I took this page from the Tzemech Hashem Litzvi. One time I was by Maran Chaim Knievsky Shlita. And I'd been searching for a long time for a Zer Kodesh and I couldn't find anyone. I was confident I'd seen it once. And I was meeting with Reb Chaim, and I went over this concept from Semech Hashem. I had a few ideas I wanted to clarify, and then I asked him an interesting question. I was holding this page from the Semech Hashem Lutzvi in my hand, asking him exactly how far it went. Call everything. Yep, everything. And I asked Maran Shlita, I... I'm confident I once saw in the Zaya Kodesh, but I can't find the Makor, that included in this is that we get to choose our children and we choose our parents. We choose everyone. If Yivad Bacha, all the Tznoya Chaim, that means we chose our kids too, knowing what's going to be. And we chose our parents. I asked him, is, does, the, does the Rob know of the Makor for this? In the Zaya. So he looked at me. He said, Lama 
So I started explaining that I'm a psychologist and I work with it. I don't, I don't understand. I started explaining. And he grabbed this page out of my hand. That's what he says. It's the Zoya. I took an aide with me because I knew no one would believe me. I took an aide who heard it from him direct. That's exactly what it means. We choose our children, we choose our parents, we choose our matzav, every detail of it. Because it's that matzav that's going to make us alive. It's that matzav that's going to make us fulfill our mission in this world. That's what we're here for. This matzav isn't in the way. My children always said, you know, once years ago I was offered a radio talk radio show. I guess got the right voice. You know, it's my voice again. I turned it down. But my kids joke with me. They said, Ta, if you ever have a talk radio show, here's how you're going to end up. You have a signature at the end where you sign off. He said, this will be your sign off. And remember, your problems are not in your way. They are your way. Have a nice day. This, this reality is, is what our children and our struggles can bring us to the truth. So we can live a real Torah life. Not just, you know, mitzvah, noshim, lumodah, living over and doing everything right. This is what I experienced with everyone here, the Shabbos. This is real. We're in the trenches. We're fighting for our Yiddishkeit, for our lives. This is our relationship to Yadus, our relationship to Rabbeinu Shalom. And call me those It's all, everything that happens to us is all Minashamayim. This is our way. This is what it's all about. And my children brought me to this Akara. And you can bring this to the world. You have to realize. People are watching you. I didn't realize, but people watched me. Eventually, neighbors and friends, they would say, they, Shimon, you know, can we go for a walk? I knew what it meant after a while. You know, can we just, you got any time? Can we go for a walk? And then they say, like, how do you do that? You know, I noticed you with your kid and with your daughter, and how do you do that? And then they pour out and start crying, and their problems, and they think, how do you do it? And then you realize you're surrounded by a world, a yam of people struggling, and they're watching you. They're getting chizuk from you. They're learning from you. Once I went to Herzl many years ago, when our eldest daughter, she was maybe 17, she was near to Saul at the time. She was a beautiful young girl. I went to see her to Mechazek. I always went as often as I could, spend time with her. I got to uh, the airport, and there I met two chaverim, two people I knew well, both well-known, very chash Rosh Hashivas, one from Lakewood, the one from Eretz Yisrael, who I knew well. And I wasn't yet ready to talk about my Tsaras. And we met, Skvaltik, let's fly together. It wasn't such a busy plane. Um, never, I had to sit with them on this plane. Yeah, we're all talking and learning. You know, it's all geschmack, and I'm dying inside you know, about this. Because I couldn't, I couldn't talk yet. Anyway, we get to Eretz Yisrael, and I have a car, I have to rent my car. I come out, you know, you come up with your trolley there. It was the old days, I don't know if you remember, in the old Terminal 1 days, you came out this little one little area, and everyone's waiting to greet you. And I walk out, with these two are flanked by these two Chashba Roshivas. And uh, there's a Prutza standing there, so I look away. 
There's this beautiful prutza with long curly hair, bronzed skin, the tiniest red dress that covered the minimum imaginable that's probably legal to walk in the street. A prutza, so I looked away. And then I looked back, and it was her. She'd come to greet me. So I pushed my cart ahead of these two Rosh Hashivas without saying a word. I dashed forward and stopped my cart, and I took her in my arms, and I hugged her. I cannot imagine what it all looked like. <laughs> you know, this is me. I hugged her, and then we went off, we got the car. I was smart already, because halfway to Shalim, I said, uh, did I pass? She said, yeah, you did really good. <laughs> It's an amazing story. I was so tzabrachan, I have to tell you. I was so tzabrachan inside. I hadn't said a word, and here they saw this, you know. It's like, it was Thursday night. Anyway, Shabbos morning, I was still not feeling so great about the whole matzah. I was staying by a shvaga, and I got up early to go to Shachris, and I'm walking around the corner, and one of these Rosh Hashivas is walking towards me on the same side of the street. So, of course, I panic. I want to cross the street, like run across and hide. I'm feeling like such an idiot. Russell, grow up. Just shut up and deal with it. <laughs> so I keep walking, and we stop, and we see each other. And he puts his arms around me, and he hugged me, and he started crying. And I was so, like, touched. And then he started bawling. <laughs> and then I realized I was holding him from collapsing as he was bawling. And I'm thinking, whoa, I've seen us all. <laughs> this is like, wow. He's soaking my suit. <laughs> Bakitsa, he finally pulls himself together. And through him, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives me a gift that empowered my life. As he looks me in the eye and he says, Shimon, he said, if I had your strength, maybe my son might come back. The boy said, every one of you is me on that street. Every time you hug your kid, every time you walk in the street with him or her, you have to realize you're being watched. And there are those not so fortunate to have this program and this training and the chizak you get who are watching you and learning from you. And maybe that's a chilek of your destiny. And imagine the schar you get that you don't even realize. We have to realize that Kodesh Baruch Hu is gifting us with this sugya. He's making us a person, each one of us, that we never dreamt we could be. And the gifts just keep on coming. Once you see the truth, once you see what this sugya really is. Even in the Siam, and tomorrow we're going to sing Halal. And I'll tell you my favorite taich in the Veta from Halal, Soni, Lili Shua. And Zog the Medrash tell him, I give thanks to you, Rebbeinu Shalolam, for all the suffering. Kiani Sani, because you made me struggle. 
because Vatahili Yeshua, that struggle freed me. That was my Yeshua. It freed me to be an authentic Jew. It took me closer to you. It inspired me. It was a true Yeshua. It was my salvation. And it came through the struggles, came my salvation. I give thanks to you, the Chaki Anisani. Thank you, Rabbi Nishalom. Even Mosu Habonim. This big heaven, you're building a building, you want to build a house, you have to clear the land, you have to build a foundation so you can build the house properly. And the Bainim came to build the building and there was a huge rock. They couldn't move it. And there were most of Bainim. They were most, most of they hated it. This heaven was in the way. And then they chapped. You built on it. It's not in the way, it is the way. I'm going to build right on that rock. I'm going to build on my child who's struggling. I'm going to build my life. I'm going to build the authenticity of my relationship to Rabbi Nishalaylam on that rock that I thought was in the way. And it wasn't. It's amazing when you see it. It's Pashat Mafla Fafela. When you finally open your eyes and you see the truth that this is how I build my Gansaruchnius. Everything till now was preparation. And now I'm going to build my life on this. The day you realize Hashem did this for you, Nagila so you can get up and sing. You don't have to be miserable anymore. Get rid of that sadness. Get rid of the pain. Dance. Sing. Because it's Nifla Biasa. It's amazing. Because the problems are not in your way. Because the problems are your way. So they wish to help them. I'm telling you, you gave me chizek. Thank you so, so much. And I deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate it. And I really hope that you'll take these messages and keep building. You are the warriors. You're in the trenches and people are watching you and they're being mechizek from you. And everyone has given this chance to find Hashem. Take it, grab it, run with it. Sing the song and dance to Hashem because that's something to sing about. You've been given a gift of truth, of life, of real Torah.